Hey, uh, I want to talk to you today about some other things that are going on in this period where we're down because of the COVID virus. Um, you know, right now, a lot of people are trying to avoid things. A lot of people are avoiding their youth workers. Uh, people are avoiding the confrontations that, it, that could occur from it. Uh, people are avoiding looking at themselves. And one of the reasons they're doing that is because uh, it causes discomfort. It makes them uncomfortable to have to look at what they're actually doing. You know, a lot of people say, why are you even calling us? Why are you bothering us right now? You don't have any work for us. But that's not the issue. The issue is we still want to maintain our connection with you. We still want to do some CBT and help you change some behaviors. We still want to do things to let you know that we are part of your life and want to be part of your life and see you grow and change. Uh, during, during this period, we understand there are more programs that are going on here. I mean, there's, there's still GED work to be done. There's still healthy habits that can be done. We're working on all kinds of things trying to reach you. And so I know it gets uncomfortable. Some of you are miserable when we call. It's like, why the hell are they calling me now? I'm not even gonna answer the phone. Why are they calling me saying they're coming to see me? I, I think I just won't show up. That's avoidance. And what you're avoiding is the fact that you are uncomfortable having to look at yourself and the work that we're doing with you. Um, so, what's avoidance? Avoidance is doing anything that makes us feel better fast when we're feeling discomfort. And most of the time when we're going through this, we just wanna keep feeling better fast. But here's what happens. We start to feel better. We do something, we run away to feel better. It feels better for a minute. And then a little while later, the phone rings, it's one of us again, and you get that feeling again. Now what are you gonna do? Where do you go next? What's the next avoidance you're gonna do? Oh man, he's calling me now, I think I'll go roll one. All right, now that happened, what are you gonna do? You feel better fast, it drops off, there you go. Now you're walking around stone, feeling better, but then you see somebody else from Roca. Again, boom, you hit again with the same discomfort. Now what am I gonna do? So instead of continuing with the avoidance behavior, instead of running away from it, instead of trying to feel better fast, why don't we stick with it? That's what stick with it means. It doesn't mean sticking through something that's ridiculous. It doesn't mean, oh, I got this job, I'm gonna stick with it. No, it means being uncomfortable. Being in a state of discomfort and going through that discomfort so that you get to the other side of it. And when you get to the other side, the discomfort drops off. There is a plateau, just like flattening the curve. We're right here in the middle of COVID-19, and every time I see that come up, flatten the curve, I think about that. What I think about immediately is how we can stick with it. Because if we stick with social distancing, if we stick with being uncomfortable, staying in the house, wearing masks, not hanging out, then we are going through the discomfort. And on the other side of that discomfort is us flattening out, and we feel better. We get used to it. We find that that discomfort drops off and diminishes and our life goes on. So I'm asking you, are you ready? Can you do that? That's one of the reasons we sit here and we make these videos for you so that you understand. We can still reach out to you. Don't avoid that either. If one of your youth workers calls and says, hey, I want you to look at this video. Hey, I'm, I'm reaching you on Facebook. I'm going to send you an IG. Answer it. Go through it. Take a look at what's going on. Because we're putting this work in because we care. We care about you. We care about your discomfort. We care about what we can do to help you get through it. So, there we go. Stick with it.